Well, high winds have tested crews on day three of the Louis Vuitton Pacific Series today. The pressure going on some of the big boys, and as Martin Tasker reports, it was the crew on a lingy that faltered. A huge percentage of America's Cup races are won in the start box, and the big match between Origin and Alinghi was no exception. The duelling between triple Olympic gold medalist Ben Ainsley and America's Cup winner Ed Baird intense as the protest flags flew. Origin tactician Ian Percy, another Olympic gold medalist, knew where he wanted to be. Boat length of bias to the pin end, Ben, so don't give it all up if we're splitting, OK? Do a late split. In the end, it was academic as Ainsley attacked Baird in a high-risk gamble to force Alinghi over the line early. It paid off handsomely. As the Swiss turned back to restart, the British were off and running, not to be caught. Just felt like it was the thing to do. Certainly against Alinghi, it's good to give him a bit of a tickle up, so um, we're happy with that. Best on the course action came in the crucial match between Damiani Italia and the French K Challenge. Both teams needed a win to progress, but the French sealed their fate when they were penalised in a luffing duel. Overlap is broken now. We have got a penalty. I'm really happy because every day there is somebody on the boat uh, that uh, is doing a better job. Looks that our level is moving up, but this is what, uh, what I like a lot. In the other match, Russell Coots on Oracle comfortably beat the China team, as expected. But the fourth match, Shoshaloza against Luna Rossa, had to be postponed because the winds were really getting up. Hopefully a full programme, though, tomorrow, weather permitting. Marty Tasker, One News. And you can catch live streaming on every race day from 10.30. Just go to tvnz.co.nz forward slash sailing. You'll also find the latest news and interviews. And one sport has highlights of today's racing from 11.40 tonight.